YouTube masthead artwork, the most important thing to remember is in this maximum and minimum size um, images that you can display, and I'll list those in the description area, it's the middle third of the image that gets displayed on your desktop and devices screens. The entire image shows on a TV, but it's only the middle third. If you divide the screen into three areas, top, middle and bottom, it's the middle image that gets displayed. Now the first thing to do is import the template image. And I've got that stored in photos. And there it is there, the template image. Now if I pull that down a little bit, you can see it's marked on there. The TV image is the full, it's very small, 2560 by 1440 pixels. The desktop maximum size is 2560 by 423. A tablet size 1855 by 423 and the desktop minimum and mobile is 1546 by 423. Now that text and logo safe area means that anything you put in that area will show on everything. TV, devices, desktops, whatever. Now, you might have an image that has the bottom area where your important text is. That won't show up on a desktop. The top area, that won't show up on a desktop. It's only the logo safe area that will show up on a desktop. But when you try, if, you, if that's all you create, when you try and upload it to YouTube, they will tell you, no, sorry, your image is too small. It has to be a minimum of, of that full size. 2560 by 1440. Well, actually, it's 2560 by 1220 is the minimum size. So you may as well use the entire image. Now, I'm keeping that small there so I can see what's happening. Let me show you how this works because what we have here is... The background and it's locked we can't change it so let's place an image over there place from photos recently added okay well let's just go to recents what I want is that one there nice landscape photo and you think wow that's pretty good now, how do we tell whether it's the, in the right area? Because you've got the road, you've got the middle part. We then go to effects and reduce the opacity. Now you can see, if I hide that, you can see where the text and logo safe area is. If you're going to write some text, that's where it has to go. Let's put a pixel layer above that. We'll add some text. My YouTube channel. That's all in the logo and safe area. Let's make that text white. Now, how do you know that's in the safe area? If you were to upload that to YouTube, you would have my YouTube channel, and I left the L black, didn't change it to white. Never mind, it doesn't matter for this exercise. Now, 
let me show you just for the time being I'll hide the background that's what you will see on the TV screen let me bring the effects back up FX 100% normal oh we haven't got the right okay select that one effects back up to full scale my YouTube channel now you can see the image is not quite fitting the square okay so let's move it photo image select doesn't matter that it's larger than the square because what you have is only the square 2560 by 1440 and it says my YouTube channel with a black L you know that's going to show on every desktop and the entire picture is going to show on a TV. And that's all you need. Just to keep following that. Now you can see that you can't see the, um, the background template. But it's there for when you want to use it. Now if you like, we can hide that, that image. And... Select that, select another pixel layer, which you probably don't need, but I like to keep them separated. Let's place another image, because later on down the track, place from photos, you might decide you want to do something different. Now let me show you what happens with this one. If I find that image again, Check the effects. Turn on the background and you can see that on the background that's that's where your um, YouTube channel master will be. So if you wanted something in this area to be visible on your desktop, it won't be. This is the only part that will be visible on your desktop. Back to layers, hide that. Go to the layer effects, fully rasterize it. Back to layers because we've got the text. And we want to put the text on top of that image. So you've got two images hidden in there. You can hide that one and bring that one up. See how easy that is? Hide that one, bring that one up. So you can change your YouTube channel master anytime you like. Remember that Starfield plane you can see there? It's only the middle third of that that you'll be able to see that bit there unless you're on a television you can see the desktop maximum size so you can take your text out to the left hand side as far as you can go but on the tablet it won't be seen the desktop minimum and mobile is that bit there okay let's take our layers we'll get that effects And that's it. Have a look in the in the um, have a look in the description for a more detailed description of the sizes and the location of the template image. It's all yours.